Hey guys, and welcome back to Trials and Tribulations, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Attorney Ace, whatever. Last time, we were talking to Maya, stuff got stolen, we went to places, so now we're leaving. Main Exhibition Hall, let's go. Hall. Right, let's see if we can find some clues that might lead us to the bad guy. It doesn't look like anything's been disturbed. <laughs> I had to make Phoenix just like whiny and so meh about everything. That'd be kind of funny. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Hmm, bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here, pal. Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again. Sup, bitch. It's you! Are you, and, wait, and I'm saying, and I'm the one, wait. And I'm the one who should be saying not again. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Why couldn't I read that? Probably because I'm going on four hours of sleep and I honestly think I'm developing insomnia. But moving on. Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Are there any other detectives? No. I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any... All right, all right. We got it. Why don't you two kiss and make up already? Um... Hello, it's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, little missy. Um, uh... Actually, my name is Gumshoe. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now is a good chance for you to try to remember it right. And if it's not too long for you, you can just call him Dick. <laughs> okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. Um, yeah. Good to see you again, too. I guess. <laughs> oh, Gumshoe, you're awesome. Okay. So, what happened? Um, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us what happened? Oh, you're trying to remember my name. Atta girl. Uh, just, it's Gumshoe, okay? Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, w well, the criminal's name is Mask to Mask. I know about that, too. Detective, can't you tell us something other than that? W well, I guess I sort of kind of owe you guys, in a way. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from the from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said, the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Yes, that's where we were just... <sighs> oh, Japanese writing. Um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? That guy. It's all his fault that he got away, pal. He solves one case and gets a swelled head, thinking he's an ace detective. A ace detective? Uh, let's talk about Mask to Mask before the ace detective. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this Mask to Mask. Is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? Or, you're joking, right, Nick? Mask to Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread. I don't understand that phrase. Because it's not like there is... Lots of things that have been invented are better than sliced bread. It's not like sliced bread is like the greatest thing. <sighs> Nuclear power, electricity, I don't know, computers, video games. <laughs> Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims. But underneath those disguises is the true mask to mask. God, I can't pronounce his name. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. Or, fifth heist. If Lordly Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the Sacred Urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something. Calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. Alright, uh, let's do calling card. So what's this calling card? Here it is. But don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? That's Mask to Mask's signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got it on them. Oh, okay. They didn't mention that on the newsflash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. Calling card. <laughs> so we don't have it. But it's in the court record and we can still show it to people. It's just kind of like a metaphysical concept. I don't expect you people to understand. Anyway. 
You non-lawyer types, you couldn't possibly understand metaphysical concepts like presenting stuff that doesn't actually exist in my possession. Anyway, that makes sense. When you get famous, there are always imitators. Huh, I know. Huh. Anyway, I'm not famous, whatever. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Uh, irony. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. All right, Ace Detective, who is this guy down there? So why do you call him an Ace Detective, anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Master Mask has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that is impressive. All by himself? Yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us has ever gotten so much as a glimpse of a guy. But Mr. Ace Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? Alright, why don't we go check out this Ace Detective? Maybe he- is he as good as my Ace Attorney-ness? I highly doubt th that is true. Alright, basement warehouse. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. Well, it's probably kind of cold. That's probably because it's air-conditioned, to protect the art pieces, you know. Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos! Huh? What the heck does that mean? Oh, God. I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please, make yourself at home. There we go, that's his voice. Uh, um, who are you, anyway? Shh! Silence! <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming clear. W what do you, what do you see? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, neither very advanced at their trade. Am I wrong? Yikes, that, that's scary. H how did you know that? How, you say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question, nothing but a question of why. I am a traveler of both time and space, and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman. And introduce myself. My name is Atme. Luke Atme. <laughs> Get it? It's a joke. Ace Detective. Oh, um... Hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Don't let that nose just scare you. Um, the name's right. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. <laughs> I'm Maya Fay, Ace Spirit Medium. And I'm, um, Pearl Fay. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin and, um, Spirit Medium Ace Apprentice. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty good. I like that line. I forgot about that. Excellent! Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? Why is the phrase one short of a baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? I don't know. But it's probably because he's fucking nuts. I don't like this person. He's got good music, though. Sorry, I was just listening for a sec. Anyway, Ace Detective! Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Of course! For a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone was left in the city who had not heard of me. Look at me! Oh, get it, because it's his name! I am Master Mask's arch enemy, the ace detective Luke at me. At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other, the angelic cherubs of light. Or cherubs, I don't know. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning of this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very loathsome, his very latest loathsome larceny. That's actually kind of... Try to say that three times fast. Latest loath is large. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't even do it once. Oh, God. Anyway, I even managed to target... Wait. Okay, hang on. I even managed to return the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Magina, to the scene of the crime. The crime scene, whatever. I couldn't say that with a voice. And I did it all by myself. I took it back from mask to mask. With my brawny mind and brilliant muscles. Uh, reverse that. Yeah, they mentioned that on the news in the great people of the town segment. 
They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Alright, Mask Star Damask. I need to pronounce the star from now on. Oh, tell us what you know about Mask Star Damask, and keep it simple, please. Like how, like about how I've devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds? Last night, here in the bowels of the store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here, in Lordly Taylor. Naturally! Where Damask goes, you will find Atme laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like Damask out elegance to you and made a beautiful getaway. But this time, I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course, after all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. How many aces do you know? Is your barber an ace haircutter? Is your chef an ace cook? Is your frickin' driver an ace wheelman? Anyway, flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. Nice! <laughs> At first, I, I first received the request from my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that we received Mask Star to Mask's calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes. You see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere ten days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? Yes, so, ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse. And waited for him, alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go for the police to help? Or, go for the police? Blah! Go to the police for help! <laughs> God. Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? You got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let Damask get away. I always operate alone and concealed, out of sight of others. Corn sealed? Okay. Precisely! Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. Yeah, I'm sure you can hide really well with the frickin' red neon bow tie and that stupid hair. I'm sure Sam Fisher's got nothing on this guy, people. Anyway, to fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. It's my original proverb. Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But, but that's impossible. How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, Sir Lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though on... Even though... On what... Wait. So you're saying that even though on one came through... Wait, what the... So you're saying that even though one... On one? That's a typo. That's gotta be a typo. So you're saying that even though on one came through those doors last night... Okay. Typo. Sorry. So you're saying that even though one came through those doors last night, our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? Oh, it was no one! Not on one. Herpaderp. Okay. Th that's just not possible. Okay. How about we, um, present something? Sorry about that. Typo. That really just... Ooh. That killed my brain for a second there. Okay. Oh. Okay. I didn't know I could read it. Okay. To the security at Lordly Taylor, I am coming to purloin the most priceless work of art on display in your travers of Curlane, expert. <sighs> Take good care of the speckled urn for you. Okay. Um. I present this. Look at it. Master Ma Mask Star Damask's calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Quite impressive, but I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top-secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin apprentice here. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think I can learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. 
I don't know if I really want this guy to like us. Ever. Well, Sir Lawyer, I've been told that you too are pursuing the, mis the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure I would say that exact. That's right! We're gonna find the sacred urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If, perchance, you discover something of value, return them to my office. To my office of Earthly Delights, the Atomy Detective Agency. A office of Earthly Delights? Well then, to lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Get out of here with that freaking ruby, you're blinding me. Well, wait a minute! He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. Yeah, that's a good point. I want to go to his office, too. Take me with you, okay? Alright. So, now time to investigate. What time are we at? 16. I'll look around for a bit. Uh, the obvious things would be this paint here, but here, let's start over here first. This box. A pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! Th that's the box that had the sacred urn in it! Don't touch it! There may be clues on the thief's identity on there. Ah, I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? That urn has always been on its... Wait, that urn has always been on its stand in the winding way of Fay Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I... I was so proud of it. Sniffle, sniffle. Poor Maya. Maybe it would have been better if Master Mask had taken the box, too. <laughs> okay. The Shichishito. Wow, this is awesome. What did Miss Andrew say this was called again? Shichishito. It's literally seven-branched sword in Japanese. Or so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes. Uh, um, there's something about it that bothers me. Wow, you're really firing on all cylinders today, Pearly. The sword. Wasn't Mystic Ami holding it last night? Yes, she was. Ah. And another thing. The sword wasn't bent last, last night like it is now. Y you're right. Awesome, Pearly. I wouldn't expect any less from my little ace apprentice. The sword is bent, so that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Aha! I just thought of something. Maybe Detective Atme smashed Max Star to mask with it. Like this. Youch! What the heck? What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent now than it was before. Oh, man, my head. My hair! <laughs> I love that. Oh, God. That's pretty funny. How they actually comment about the hair more emphatically than his head. That's funny. Okay. Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint all over here. I didn't do that. Well, it wasn't here last night. I would have noticed a color this outrageous. But this paint is already dried up. Well, then you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast. Besides, I told you it wasn't me. Looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of the stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. I already know what it could be. It's obvious. This statue of Mr. Gami is too so cool. I want a gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Hey, it's right in company. How about a gold statue of me? <laughs> uh, there's probably one of you somewhere. Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? The statue of Mystic Ami. Was this where it was last night? Ah, no, it wasn't. It was behind, it was blocking the paint. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. Yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. Ami Faye's golden statue. All right. So we've done a little bit of investigating. We've talked to someone who's very annoying. And I think that'll be enough for today. So next time we'll continue with the investigation. So I'll see you guys then.